So, some of you out there are concerned that genetic modification might affect your health or the environment, but are you right to be worried? Let's take a look. So pitiful. Genetic modification mostly is about DNA, so let's begin there. DNA is a large molecule that stores an organism's unique genetic code as long sequences of four molecular bases known as A, G, C, and T. A sequence of any three bases forms a codon, meaning there are 64 possible codons, and a sequence of these codons is called a gene. Genes are translated codon by codon into sequences of amino acids, which are the building blocks of tiny machines we call protein, and proteins are the physical machines that literally build life. This is the primary purpose of a gene, to store the information required to build a given protein. Different genes create different proteins, and so changing the genes will change the proteins, which will in turn change the organism. Today, we can scan DNA very precisely, analyze it, and use tools like agrobacteria, gene guns, and more recently, CRISPR, to deliberately insert, remove, or even modify our crop's genes to change their proteins and so alter their traits. And making changes using these tools is called genetic modification. The alternative to genetic modification is organic modification, which also works by modifying genes to alter proteins, but just using different tools. Tools such as artificial selection, which is to rely on things like viruses or free radicals to randomly modify an organism's DNA. Crossbreeding is to combine genes from species that wouldn't normally cross in the wild, which can be really rather fun if you're into that kind of thing. Splicing plants to create literal frankenfoods works well, and hybridization is like crossing, but with inbreeding beforehand. Finally, mutagenesis is the organic use of carcinogenic chemicals and ionizing radiation to trigger random mutations throughout an entire genome. All of these so-called organic techniques are indeed fantastic at creating new crops. However, they all involve randomly modifying genes with the intention of randomly generating better organisms. So organic certainly does not mean natural, it means random. Genetic modification allows us to do the same thing as organic modification, that is to create better organisms, but with ever more delicate precision. This precision enables us to generate organisms that naturally produce more food using fewer resources on less land, organisms that would be virtually impossible to create randomly. And us having these better and more efficient crops will save people's lives. But potentially even more groundbreaking for genetic modification technologies are the medical implications. Many of our worst remaining diseases involve errors within our DNA. Cancer, cystic fibrosis, Huntington's, and many, many other degenerative ailments have a genetic basis. In the very near future, treating such diseases might well be as simple as repairing our DNA, as routinely as we repair broken bones today. The idea that organically modified organisms are intrinsically safer or more natural is a scam, a bondoogle, a porky pie routinely used to sell mediocre foods in fancy packaging at grossly inflated prices. However, is it possible that some wayward genetic modification might one day damage your health or our environment? Well, in theory, yes, just like in theory, an organic modification could and arguably more likely would, given that it's also comparatively random. Genetic modification is not actually a product, but a growing category of increasingly precise tools. The costs of us rejecting these new tools would be the continued suffering and lives lost due to otherwise avoidable malnutrition and ultimately treatable genetic diseases. The bottom line and the ultimate conclusion is that there are no inherent differences between DNA created using so-called genetic or organic techniques. This entire debacle is just yet another instance of the green blob spreading their misanthropic pseudoscience. By all means, do support your local or free-range farmers, but beware buying into this parasitical cult of organic. Organic is not healthier. Organic is certainly not more sustainable. Organic is actively slowing humanity's progress, and organic doesn't make you look cool. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio!